Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how the screw modifier works. This modifier can spin things around, so you can create things like glasses, screws, and springs. Let's create a glass. First of all, we need to draw profile of the glass. Let me draw profile quickly. Let's add screw modifier. There we go. The screw modifier takes the profile and it extrudes it around the origin point and it gives us this result. Let's add viewport shading. Click on the matcap tab and select one of them. As you have noticed, it has some bad shading, especially around the rim and in the bottom of the glass. To fix this problem, we'll enable Calculate Order option here. Here we go. But, we have another problem with the vertices in the center. They don't merge at center when we spin the glass profile. To fix this problem, let's enable Merge option here. There we go. We can set the revolution angle. Keep in your mind that screw modifier spins things around the origin. If the center vertices are not aligned with the origin, that will create gap. Let's go to top view and select the center vertex. Move it little bit on the x-axis. As you can see, it creates a gap. If you want to merge again, you can increase merge distance. Here we go. If we want to get high poly mesh, we should increase steps viewport. So it will increase number of steps in the revolution. Also, if you want to increase mesh quality during render time, you should increase render value. 
Let's make a spring with screw modifier now. Press Shift A and add a circle. Press R key and then, press X key to rotate around the X axis. Move the circle little bit on the X axis. Now, right click and set the origin to 3D cursor. Don't forget to apply rotation transform. Then, let's add screw modifier and increase the screw amount. Let's increase the number of iterations to 6. Let's increase the steps number to 32 for its look better. There we go. We can also use a object to define the screw axis. Let's add a empty object. Then, select it by eyedropper. Select the empty object again and move the empty object. There we go. Now, the empty object is our spin axis. We can also use this empty object to define the height of the screw. To do this, I have to enable the object screw option here. Let's move the empty object up and down. There we go. Now, we have a spring that can be expanded and compressed. So, we can animate this function. Let's go over the stretch UVs option now. Let's add a plane. Rotate the plane around the x-axis 90 degrees. Move little bit on the x-axis. Scale the plane. Right click and set the origin to 3D cursor. Don't forget to apply rotation and scale transforms. Then, add screw modifier to the plane. Let's increase step viewport to 400. Set the angle to 180. Let's go to shading mode and add new material. Then, let's add brick texture, mapping and texture coordinate. Connect the nodes correctly. Then, enter 6 into scale X. Now, if we try to increase angle, 
you can see it doesn't stretch the texture and doesn't affect the UV coordinates at all. But, if we turn on the stretch U option here, it will stretch the brick texture horizontally. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.